legs next, go back to front view, shift middle mouse to pan up, I'm going to hide the body, I'm going to add mesh UV sphere, I'm going to press S to scale, I'm going to press G for grab, I'm going to shift middle mouse button to pan and zoom in, S to scale, and G to grab, about that. Into edit mode, select an edge from the top half of the sphere, press B for B select, drag out just above halfway, delete vertices, I'm going to zoom back and pan down, I'm going to select an edge holding down the Alt key, E to extrude, Z for Z direction, and I'm going to extrude far enough so that if we rotate the leg, the edge of the leg won't pop out. Back into object mode, turn smooth shading on, in the material button find the Android material and for the properties for the object change the name to leg underscore capital L and enter. Zooming back a bit I'm going to put the body back in. I notice it looks a little bit high so I'm going to select the body and move it down a couple of clicks in the Z direction. I'm going to uh, have a look at it. This has got no subdivision modifier added but it does look pretty smooth. It's a very symmetric smooth shape by nature. If you want to be consistent with the rest of the model you can add the modifier. You don't have to apply it, you can easily delete it. Going back to front view to make the other leg I'm going to press Shift and D to duplicate and press Enter. I'm then going to go to the properties of the leg and put a minus sign in front of the X value. And I'm going to rename the leg, change the L to R for right, Enter. To make the antenna, I'm going to duplicate the leg, Shift and D. And with that up, shift middle mouse button to pan down, S to scale, scale that right down, G to grab and put it over the antenna, zoom in again, and R to rotate, and G to grab. Maybe a little bit S to scale. Now into edit mode and I'm going to press G to grab and Z twice to have local Z direction. Drag that down again. You might want to rotate the antenna so reasonably deep and that's the antenna. I'm going to go back into object mode. I'm going to rename antenna underscore alpha right. Press enter. Zoom back a bit. Pan a bit. I'm going to make a duplicate by pressing shift and D and pressing enter. With the duplicate in the location X I'm going to delete the minus sign and select the rotation Y and put a minus sign in front of that and rename that with capital L enter. Now for the arms I'm going to zoom back and shift middle mouse button to pan I'm going to hide the body and add mesh 
UV sphere. Now we have a problem with one middle line of edges. If we increase the number of rings of the sphere to 17, we have two central lines of edges and that makes it much easier to split the sphere in half. I'm going to press S to scale and shrink the sphere right down. G for grab and move it over. Shift middle mouse button to pan and zoom in. It's most probably easier to match the sphere to the background in wireframe. I'm going to press S to scale and match that size and G to grab and match the position. Zooming and panning to see the whole of the arm. I'm going to go back to solid and into edit mode. I'm going to select an edge from the top half of the sphere. Now I've selected a back edge so we're not limiting selection to visible. So a B select will select all of the top half of the sphere and if I press G to grab followed by Z we can move that up to there into object mode and turn smooth shading on rename the sphere arm underscore capital R for right press enter material pick up the android green I'm going to add the subdivision surface modifier and set the views to 2. I'm going to do shift and D to duplicate the arm and press enter. I'm going to rename the arm underscore L for left and I'm going to delete the minus sign from the X location. And I'm going to reshow the body. Now we can see our Android.